Hi everyone and welcome back to My Zone Active Kids where, where we actively, actively invest in your future. future. Whose future? Your future! I know that's right. Yay! <laughs> My name is Marisol Stoffberg and I am so excited because it's a brand new week and we are so happy that you guys are back. But before I introduce the theme or anything else, I first need to say hi to my friends. Hi. 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 Well, my name is Monique Adams and I'm so, we are so weird. And I'm so excited to be back. It's been a minute. It's been some time, but we're back here to stay active with you. So Marisol, the theme of the week. Before we do that, Monique, we need to say Happy Independence Day, Namibia. Ba -ba -da -ba. Happy birthday, Namibia. Happy birthday, Namibia. Happy birthday, Namibia. Happy birthday, Namibia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, thirty, thirty-one. Thirty-one years of magic. Wow! It just feels like yesterday when I remember Namibia turning twenty-one. Now it's <laughs> thirty-one. <laughs> but of course, we have a theme every week. This week our theme is summer, and today it's all about sunshine. Ooh. Mr. Sun. Sun. Mr. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Shine down on me. Dun, dun, dun. And of course, we need to remind you that you can catch, catch us, us every, every single day, day of the week. <laughs> Sorry, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at nine, nine. on our MyZone and, and Zashi Facebook, Facebook pages. And we want to thank our friends at Innovation so much for these super cool bean bags. So if you need anything for your party, please send an email to info at kickstartnam.com. Info at kickstartnam. So, Marisol, what are we doing for today? What are we doing? We have our online lessons kicking off again for the week. But before that, we first need to sing a song. Monique, since our theme is sunshine, I thought, why don't we sing a song that's the complete opposite of sunshine? And that's the dark. Um, and what do you get in the dark? You get the stars that are like mini suns uh, in the dark. Oh, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. I, I so, it's twinkle, twinkle. Really? Yeah. Ah! Guys, She's she didn't smart. tell me. I just picked up, you know. You know the vibes. But anyway, let's get ready. Drink your honey <laughs> and water. Like, warm up your vocals. You see, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. It's been a while. Yeah, it, it, it And has. I miss our friends. Yeah. So. Let's sing. Let's remix it. Do it like more hip. Twinkle, twinkle. Right. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> so, it's time for... First, before we go to our lessons, it's time to see our friends Zoe and Zaki. Zaki! So get ready where they teach us more about the sun. Yay! Oh, so many years since I've been gone. I haven't changed, but I have grown. Wherever I may have roamed, darling, I will am coming home. I'm coming home. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, hello, 
Hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hi friends, I miss you guys so much. My name is Zaki, which rhymes with hacky, and I love playing in the sun outside. Hi beautiful friends, my name is Zoe, and I love the rain we get in the summer. And we, we are niece and nephew. This week we are learning all about summer and today it's all about sunshine. Summer is the hottest season of the year. In some places summer is the wettest season with the most rain. And in other places it is a super dry season. In summertime the sun is everywhere. The sun is a star found at the center of the solar system. Zoe, um, the sun is like super important for us, isn't it? Yes, it is. There wouldn't be any life on earth without the sun. But why is that? The sun creates our seasons, currents in the oceans, weather and climate. So it keeps us warm and keeps our planet happy and alive. Exactly. It is a thing that makes it gives us. It is a thing that gives us heat and light. When I'm outside, I love feeling the sun on my arms and legs and face. Um, but that can also be very dangerous. Why is that? Its rays can hurt our skin when we play outside without wearing sunscreen. Um, 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 so, so, so we can get sick from too much sun. Yes, we need to take care of our skin because we need to keep our skin for our whole life. So, so we need to wear a hat when we're outside. And wear our sunscreen all over our body. Even our ears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and drink lots of water because when it gets hot and, and, and we, then we get sweaty. And when we get sweaty, we lose water, which means we need to drink lots and lots of water to make sure we stay healthy. The sun also gives us vitamin D, which is super important for us. It makes our hair healthy, make our skin glow and helps us to make our immune system super strong so we don't get sick easily. We also need to remember to never look directly into the sun because that is really bad for our eyes. That's right. I just love how magical the sun is. And even when you feel very bad, you know when you get outside, you see the sun shining, you'll feel better. Exactly. Much, much better. I think it's time for us to sing a super fun song about the sun now. Get, Get ready, ready, friends. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Oh, Mr. Sun, 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 Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you, to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Shine down on me. Shine, shine, shine. Shine down on me. Shine, shine, shine. Shine down on me. Shine, shine, shine. Oh, Mr. Sun, Mr. Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. <laughs> I had so much fun learning about sunshine. Now, Zaki, it's time for your fun fact. Did you know that it takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds for the light leaving the sun to reach Earth? Whoa! I just love your fun facts. They Thank are you. so, so educational and informative. So friends, remember that we need to protect our skin in the summer with sunscreen. Please wear your sunscreen and hats. But that it is from us for today, friends. We'll see you again um, tomorrow. 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 I miss the sun. Bye. Sun. The oh, bye. Sun. Please shine down on me. Wow, teacher Mutsa. Ooh, teacher Mutsa is on a roll, <laughs> like my tongue. I got so, you. So um, now we're heading over to our grade one. So get ready for week four, lesson one. Week four, lesson one. Ta ta ta, you come here, African. You come Enjoy.
Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. ones and welcome to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is customs and ceremonies and before we get into today's lesson boys and girls it's very important for us to sanitize now remember we have our special sanitizing song so let us sing it together sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone now we are ready for today's lesson we are going to be talking about vocabulary words sight words and the number four for our first activity boys and girls let us turn to page 17 on page 17, we are going to start with our customs and ceremonies by looking at vocabulary words. Now, the words that are there are things that happen during the year. The first word you can see that the boy is pointing at is festivals. Everyone, let's say festivals. Festivals very good the second word is funerals everybody let's say funerals funerals the next word is the word deaths everybody let's say deaths deaths and the last word in the box that the boy is pointing at is traditional. Traditional. So let us take a look at the meaning of each and every one of those words. Now a festival is when people come together to celebrate something that happens every year. It can be a food festival where they celebrate the different types of food. It can also be a music festival where they celebrate the different types of music. Normally a festival happens only once a year. So we say a festival is annual. The next word is funerals. Now, when someone passes away or dies, we hold what is called a funeral for that person. A funeral is a way of us saying goodbye to our loved ones. During a funeral, there is a coffin involved and many people are sad during a funeral. 
The person who has passed away is dressed up in a beautiful outfit. For men, it can be a suit, and for women, it can be a dress. For a girl, it can be a dress, and for a boy, it can be a suit as well. So we have funerals all the time because it is a part of our customs. The next word we have is deaths. Now, when someone passes away, we say that they have died. So if many people die, we call them deaths. A death, my dear boys and girls, is a part of our life. Because if we are born, one day we have to die. So when there are many, we call them deaths. Then the last word is the word traditional. The word traditional comes from the word tradition. Now, a tradition is almost like a custom where it is passed on from one generation to another. It is part of what makes up our identity as people. So, everybody has a tradition, something that is practiced in their family or in their culture. So now that we know our vocabulary words and what they mean, let's say them again. Please repeat after me. Festivals. Funerals. Deaths. Traditional. Now, the second part of our exercise is for us to fill in the missing words. Wow, this sounds like so much fun. I am going to do the first one and the second one with you. So the first word that we have there is missing two letters. The first letter is after and the second letter is after if you check in your booklet carefully, you will know which word this one is. And this word is festivals. So we are going to fill in the missing sounds. Now if we say fe, you already know which sound you need. And that is a. So I'd like you to put an a sound here. A. A, S, T, E, V, A. So now we need to fill in the last sound. And the last sound here is A. Festivals. A, A, A. Not A, A. <laughs> So we have completed our word. The next word we have, you can guess and look at your book, is the word funerals. So we need to fill that in. So the first letter that we have is an A. Ah. So I want you to fill that in. Write the A. Ah. There we go. And then the next one we have is an E. So we are going to write the letter E. And lastly, we are going to write the sound A. Now we have completed our word, funerals. The rest you're going to do by yourself. Now, let us go to the next page, page 18. On page 18, we are going to be doing the sight words. The sight words are words that we often see and read in sentences. Today we have three sight words and we're going to read them together. Please repeat after me. The first one is it, it, it. 
The next one is in. 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 And the last one is said. 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 So we are going to try and use these words when we are reading and writing sentences. So the first activity after reading is to trace the words. You are going to take your time and try hard to follow the dotted trace. Then after that, you are going to write the sight word below on the dotted lines. Take your time and make sure they are the correct signs. Then the last thing that you will do is to unscramble the words so that we have the correct spelling. Remember, you can always go back to the first box where we were reading the sight words. That way, you'll be a clever boy or a clever girl and get your answers correct. After doing all of this, please check your work and if you need an adult to check your work for you, that's okay too. Take your time and I'll see you just now after our advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 81 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. One, two, three, Our next lesson, boys and girls, please, can you turn to page 19? On page 19, you can see that we are dealing with the number four. Everyone, let's say four. Four. Now, the first part of our exercise is for us to write the number four by tracing. You can see that they have given you nice trace lines for you to follow. But I want us to practice the tracing before we begin. So let us take a look at the board. Now the number four can be drawn in different ways, but we want to do it the same way. So we are going to practice on the board. I want you with your finger to practice in the air. Now the first thing we're going to do is start at the top. So when we start at the top, we say one, and then we say two, and we lift up our pencil, and in the middle we say four. So we are done with the number four. Let's do it again. One, two, we lift up our pencil and then we have written the number four. Good job. Now I'm going to try it here under this picture. So I want you to be watching carefully. The first one says one and then I stop. I go across two, I lift up my pencil and then I say the number four. So there are three things we have to do. The first one goes down and we stop but we don't lift up our pencil. Then we go across to make the second thing and the third thing is the line in the middle where we say four. So I want you to continue practicing that with your tracing.
Let's take a look back at our exercise. The next thing that you're going to do, boys and girls, is you're going to color in four stars. Now, maybe some of you don't know how many four is. So, I am going to show you how many four is here in the classroom. Let's take a look at the table. Now, in my hand, I am holding four things. They are all green colors. So, I have one, two, three, and four. So, I have four colors. They are all green, as you can see. Behind me is what is called a four-leaf clover. And the reason why it's called a four-leaf clover is because it has four cloves. One, two, three, and four. So in your exercise, you are going to color four stars. Remember to count them before you color them. You are also going to count four boxes and color those as well. If you don't have any counters, that's okay boys and girls. You can use your hands because we also can count four. Let's count together. I want you to first put out four fingers. Very good. And then you say one, two, three, four. After that, I want you to finish off your exercise. Let's take a look at what is left in our exercise. Now, if you look into your exercise, they are going to be asking you to color the number four. So you are going to look for all the number fours in the circles there and you are going to color them. It's okay to use different colors for the different tasks that you have to do so that you know that you have done the right thing. So please take your time and continue practicing tracing the number four. There's even a big one in the corner for you to use with your finger. Remember, if you take your time and say it out loud, you will have a neat handwriting. I will see you just now after our short advert break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson. And as you know, boys and girls, it's very important for us to sanitize at the beginning and also at the end. Let us sing our special sanitizing song. Are you ready? Let's go. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. <laughs> Yay! Well done, everyone! I wonder though, before we say goodbye, I haven't seen our little friend anywhere. Sashi, where are you? I thought I saw you a minute ago hiding. Sashi? Sashi? Oh! <laughs> there he is. Hello, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye our online school will help you along the way find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet follow us on facebook to never miss a video subscribe to our zoshi telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates proudly sponsored by ministry of education arts and culture Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School, and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. Amazing, 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 but.
it's just the beginning guys so now we head over to grade two lesson one of week three four four not three, three. plus one is four, four. <laughs> one two three four four you're yeah. so smart Maricel. stupid Stop i it. like it okay let's, let's go let's go to the lesson now okay get ready <laughs> Welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Grade twos and welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my family and summer. And before we get into any lessons, grade twos, it's very important for us to sanitize. So take your sanitizer and you rub it on your hands and round and round. Well done. Make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about vocabulary, measurement, the short E words, and the short E sound. For our first exercise, boys and girls, please can we turn to page 16. On page 16, we have our vocabulary words as well as our sight words. Now let's start with the vocabulary words. Remember, vocabulary words are words that may be new to us that we need to know and use often so that we can improve our English. Today, we have the words, repeat after me, summer, play, swim, sun, hot, and rain. Now, I am going to explain what each one means. Summer is the season. It is a season where we are outside and the sun is shining. Then play. We all know how to play. <laughs> play is to have so much fun. Swim. Swim is to have fun in the water. This time, when we swim, we swim in a big pool. Sun. We all know the sun because the sun shines in summer. Hot. Now, the opposite of hot is cold. So, when something is hot, we know that it is very, very dangerous at times to touch. But in this case, hot can also mean the weather. Outside can be hot. Then we have rain. Now, rain is not a new word. In fact, we always see rain in summer. And rain are little, little drops 
just like the ones that are around our vocabulary words. Now I want you to please practice these words as we go through the week. Make sure that you use them correctly now that you know what they mean. On the other side of the page, we have our sight words. Now remember, we said sight words are words that we use often when we are speaking or reading or making sentences. So our sight words are, repeat after me, I, it, of, these, and out, see, and the. Please try and use these words as often as you can, as well as spell them correctly when you are using them. I'd like you to continue practicing your new vocabulary words and sight words as you are reading and writing for this week. Try and say them again by yourself and even use them in sentences. And we will see you just now after this short advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Our next exercise, boys and girls, let us turn to page 17. On page 17, you can see that we have school measurements to do. Oh my, this is going to be so much fun. You are going to be asked to cut out and you are going to measure. What are you going to measure with, you might ask? Well, you're going to cut out paper clips as a ruler. And then after measuring the objects, you're going to write your answer in the block. So you can see that on the other side, we have a ruler made up of paper clips. Now you're not supposed to cut the paper clips, but you're going to cut out the ruler just like how I have done here in the classroom. So I have cut out my ruler and you may not see it clearly, but this is the paperclip ruler. I did not cut in between. Now remember, when you are holding a pair of scissors, boys and girls, please make sure that you have a adult with you so that you do not hurt yourself. So once you are done using your scissors, and cutting out your ruler, it's time to measure. So you're going to use your paper clips to measure. Now each block is one paper clip. And as you are counting, you'll be able to see how many paper clips each item is. Now the items we have is a book, a bus, a school, and a bag. So you are going to hold up your paper clip ruler and you're going to use the dark lines that are across or down. We are going to measure the book together. So I already have mine cut out. So I'm going to put my paper clip ruler against the line and you can see that it is almost two paper clips. So I am going to write the number two inside. Let me get a pencil. <laughs> and we are going to write the number two. There we go. So this is very easy and I'm going to leave you to do this. And when we are back, we're going to do a different exercise right after this advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi.
Our next exercise, boys and girls, please can you turn to page 19. Our next exercise is about the short e eh word or sound. Now, each of the pictures that you can see there have the sound e eh in them. So we are going to unscramble the letters of the word so that it matches the picture. Let's do the first two together. Now the first one that we can see is definitely a bed. Let's try and unscramble it on the board. So the first letter that we can see is we have a D or a D. And then we also have a B or B. And then we have an E. The sound that we are working on. So with these three letters, we need to make the word bed. Now when we say the word b, e, d, it already shows you which one we are starting with. So the first one we will start with is b, b. So we write b. And then we have our sound, the one we are focusing on for all the words, which is E. Eh. So we are going to write E. Eh. So we have B, E. Eh. And of course, the last one that we can see here is the D. So we are going to write D. Nice and round, up and down. And now we have made the word bed. To check, you can even sound it. B, E, D, bed. Now you are going to do the rest by yourselves, but I think one more is okay. Let us try the one where we can see a web. Now the letters that you can see there are or rather the first one that we can see boys and girls is e. Eh. So that is the one we can see. We can see e. Eh. And then we can see w. And the last one that we have been given is b. So we are going to change it now and make it a proper word by unscrambling the words. So we are going to start with how we sound it for the word web. Now the first sound that we can hear is So we are going to put There we go. Then the next sound that we can hear in the word web is a, a. So we are going to put a. And last but not least, we are going to put our last sound b. Now we have our word web. And remember, you can always check by sounding it. Web. Web. Now, remember, if you get confused, you can always ask for help. But I know you are clever boys and girls, so I'm going to leave you to do the rest by yourselves. Take your time. Have fun. Sound out the words before you know that it is unscrambled. I'll see you just now after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages.
Let's now look at our last exercise for today on page 20. On page 20, you can see that we are doing more phonics sounds, but this time it is the sound E. Everyone, let's say E. Well done. Now, it is going to be our job to write the correct name for the picture. Now, we have a few pictures and I'm going to help you with at least three of them. So, let us take a look at the board. The first one that we can see that is in our booklets that kind of looks like this one is a bin. So, we say b -i -n, bin. So we're going to write our B. Small letter. You go down, up and round for B. And then we'll use our sound E. There we go. Don't forget the head of Mr. E. And then we are going to have N. Down and round like this. So now we have written the name of the object and it is a bin. B -i -n, B-I-N, bin. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is a number that we all know and we are going to spell it. The first thing is a S. So we're going to write S. Okay, then after our S, we have our sound for today is E. So we write E. Remember, it's straight down and it's head. And then we are going to write X. Everyone, let's say X. Very good. So we are going to put our X. Well done, everyone. So now we have our word B in for the picture of a bin and then we have our word six for our number six the next one is a type of fruit that is your number 10 in your book and that fruit is called a fig so we are going to write the name we have f as the first letter remember Small letter f has both of his arms on each side. And then we have e, our special sound for this exercise. And then after that, we have our g for the word fig. Remember, her legs go down the line like this. So now we have our three pictures with their names. The first one was Bin. The second one was Six. And the last one, number 10, in your book is Fig. If you managed to get all of these right without my help, good job. That makes me very happy and shows me that you can do the rest by yourselves. Please take your time and if you're not sure what the picture is showing you, it's okay to get a little bit of help, but not too much. <laughs> I'll see you just now after our advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson. Now remember boys and girls, if you don't know what to do, or if you're not sure about your answers, you can always ask for help. Now that we are done, it is good for us to sanitize. 
Remember, when we sanitize, we are showing the world that we care enough to stay far, far away from coronavirus. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I feel like going outside today. I want to take Sashi with me. Sashi, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello, Sashi. <laughs> so, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. Wow. <laughs> I That's cannot so contain fun. my excitement. Yeah, that was fun. Please don't tell. Please tell me there's more. There is. <gasps> As a now it's time for grade three, week four, lesson one. Grade three, week four, lesson one. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my school and summer. And before we get into any lessons grade threes, it's very important for us to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer. Remember, when we sanitize, we are showing the world that we are responsible boys and girls. Make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. Our lesson for today is all about vocabulary words and the long sound OO. Our first exercise today, grade threes, please may you turn to page 17. On page 17, you can see that we have some new vocabulary words. Now remember, vocabulary words help us improve our English. So we need to learn as many as possible. The first words that we have today is swimming costume. Everybody, Let's say swimming costume, swimming costume, very good. The next one that we have is brightly. Let's say brightly, brightly, very good. The next one that we have is rain, rain. Let us say rain. Very good. The next one that we have is athletics. Athletics. 
Everybody, let us say athletics. Athletics. Very good. Now the next one, we already know it. It is the word clouds. Clouds. Everyone, let's say clouds. Clouds. Very good. And the next one, or rather the last vocabulary word, is temperature. Temperature. Everyone, let us say temperature. Very good. Now, with every new word, we must know the meaning of these words so that we will be able to use them when we are making sentences and writing them. The first word is swimming costume. Now, a swimming costume is what we wear when we go swimming. Because we need special clothes for the water, we can't just wear anything. We need a swimming costume. Girls have a special type of swimming costume and boys have a special type of swimming costume as well. The next one is the word brightly. This word comes from the word bright. Now when something is bright, we can see it clearly. So when something is brightly colored, we can clearly see what color it is. The next word is rain. Now we all know rain. It is what falls from the sky and it is in the form of little drops. Rain can sometimes be heavy or light. The next word is athletics. Now athletics is a group of events that are taken as a sport. Now you can have the 400 meter running race, that is part of athletics. Or you can have the high jump, that is also part of athletics. The next word is clouds. Now clouds are the white puffy things that we see in the sky. These are the clouds that carry rain. And when they are dark, we can say that they are gray clouds. The next one is the word temperature. Now this one is not a new word because since the pandemic started, we all know that we need to get our temperature checked. The temperature tells us whether we are feeling well or not. Let us take a look at the board for some of the sentences I have made with our new vocabulary words. The first one that I've made says, let me just get my ruler so we can do it together, says the swimming costume is black. Now I have given you a swimming costume. Remember, we wear swimming costumes when we are going swimming. So we say the swimming costume is black which means the color of the swimming costume is black. The next one is number two. I have a brightly colored bottle. Now you can definitely see that on my table today, I have a brightly colored bottle. What color is this one? <laughs> yes, this is a green bottle, but not just any green. It's a brightly colored green bottle. Let's move on to the next sentence. The next one says, it will rain today. Now remember what we said rain was, it's the droplets that fall from the sky. So we are saying it will rain today. The next sentence says, Adam is in the athletics team. Now remember, we said athletics is a sport that has many different events. Maybe Adam is a runner or maybe he's a jumper, but he is in the athletics team. The next one that we have says, look at the gray clouds. 
Now remember boys and girls, we said that the clouds are the puffy things up, up there in the sky. And when they turn gray or dark, we say gray clouds to show that they have changed color. Most of the time, our clouds are white. <laughs> now let's try another one. It says, they check your temperature at school. Now this one is very true, boys and girls. Before you get into the school gate, there is a teacher or a staff member with a machine that checks your temperature. You can either get your temperature checked on your neck, on your wrist, or on your forehead. But the best one would either be on your neck or on your wrist. So when you get to school, they check your temperature at school. I'd like you to try and use these words as the week goes on in any of the work that you are going to do, especially if you're going to make sentences. Let us turn back to our exercise to now see our sight words. Our sight words for this lesson is the word some, them, puts, every, around, and before. Remember, sight words are words that we often bump into when we are reading and what we need sometimes when we are making sentences. So if you have some sight words that you would like to use in your sentences, make sure that you can first see them, then say them, and then use them in sentences. Let's list them again. We have, please repeat after me, some, them, puts, every, around, and before. So have fun. Make sure you use your words as often as you can. And after a little bit of practice, we'll be right back after this advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. our next activity boys and girls please turn to page 18 on page 18 we are going to be talking about the long oo sound now the oo sound is used to make words and i'm going to show you what the oo sound looks like when we make it now on the board i have the oo sound so let us look at the board. Now the board shows us that when we have O oh and O, oh, it makes O. So when the two O oh and O oh come together, they make O. So words like O, roof are created because of the oo sound. Another word that we are using these days is zoom. Z, oo, m, zoom. Like the zoom meeting sometimes that your parents have. And in the booklet we have other examples. So let us take a look at the booklet. Now it is your job to fill in the oo sound. And after you put the oo sound in the words, I'd like you to read the words. Then you are going to use those same words to write the correct one in the sentence for it to be completed. For example, we are going to first fill in the ones that have pictures. The first one we already discussed on the board, it is oo. 
So let us put the sound oo where we can see the roof. Well done. The next one is, let's sound it together. B, oo, t, boot. Let us put the oo sound for to us to complete the word. Well done. Now it is the next one. It says, let's sound it together. M, oo, n, moon. So let us put the oo sound where it belongs. And the rest you are going to do by yourself. So let us do number one together for the sentences. It says, let's read. The dash comes out at night. Let's read it again. The dash comes out at night. Let us put one of the words that we have already completed. Is it roof or boot or moon? It is the word moon. So if you manage to put the word moon before we figured it out together, well done, you are doing well. Now I'm going to leave you to do the rest by yourselves. Remember, if there is a word you don't know, you're allowed to stop, sound that word and take your time. There are many, many options. Also remember, that if you use one word for one sentence, you cannot use that word again. Take your time and we will be back after this short commercial break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you managed to use your new vocabulary words and your sight words and fill in that missing oo sound. Now that we are done, it is time for us to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing doesn't only happen once a day. You have to sanitize as often as you can. And you make sure that your hands are dry when you touch anything else after. Well done. I wonder, I have not seen Sashi today. Where is Sashi? Oh, there he is. Hello, Sashi. <laughs> so from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. Where's Marisol? Meow. She's supposed to bring us in. Where's Marisol? Friends, where's Marisol? Marisol? Meow. Meow. Oh. <laughs> there she is. I had so much fun. But this brings us to the end of our show for today. So make sure you join us again tomorrow for more fun. But... Until next time, stay safe and stay active and enjoy Independence Day. Bye! Bye! Bye.